Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this particular demo, we are going to go ahead and meet a customer's requirement, a real life scenario. Customer has got few CAD files and what he wants to do, he wants to upload the CAD files into SharePoint, right? Once the CAD files gets updated, he wants to automatically run a Power Automate, which will convert the CAD files into PDFs. So now you'll say, Clavin, what is the scenario which is different? Here, my friends, the customer has got CAD files, which are multiple pages. Let's consider that he wants to store individual pages of the files, just not a single PDF which contains all the pages. So we also have to go ahead and split the CAD files, right? So enough of talking, let's get into a demo. As I told you, this is going to be an automated flow because, you know, customer wants to upload the file and that flow should be triggered. So let me add a trigger and the trigger would be SharePoint. And when a file is created or modified, right? Properties only. So I'll see more in SharePoint. Perfect. So the file is created and modified or modified properties only. So all files, let me select the library out here. Cat demo. That's perfect. So the first thing that we need to do is get the file content. So I'll add get file content. I'll give it a site address and I'll give it an identifier. So identifier is the output of the trigger. Now that I have the identifier, this is where the real magic will happen. And we'll go ahead and use the Mohembi. So we are going to convert the CAD drawings into PDF. So what do we need? We need first the file name, file name with extension. Then I'll need the file content, right? Uh, the other options are okay. So that's good. But now we have a situation in hand, right? We also want to go ahead and split the files, right? Split the files. So I'm going to type in Mohembi. And here, what I need to do is I need to split PDFs, right? Here, I will give it a file name. That is the convert. And then I'll say the source file content. The source file content is the processed file content. How do I want to split? By number of pages. And that is exactly what I need. Once I split the files, I need to create the files back into my SharePoint. So what I'll do, I'll type in create. In fact, I'll type in SharePoint. I'll type in SharePoint. I'll click on see more and I'll click on create file. To the create file, I will select the site address. I'll select the folder path where I need to create the files. So I need to create the files in the split demo. I, here I will pass in the processed file name, right? It automatically goes ahead and decorates it in an apply to each loop. And then I will pass in processed file content. I'll give my flow a meaningful name as in convert split demo. And I'll save my flow. So at this point, I'll go ahead and manually upload a document. So let me do that. So the document is getting uploaded and it's now available. It should trigger the flow. And my flow actually failed. So this is a strange error. It tells me get file content, resolve string, but got empty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open it in the old editor, right? It tells me that there was something wrong here. The ID came in as null. So let's quickly check. It looks okay. So let me switch the designer to the old designer. So let me re-add the identifier here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to test my flow with the run that actually failed, right? So let's try that. So it failed in the action below it. So something not really right when it comes to the new designer. And this happens to me. So I'll quickly fill in the blanks out here. So file name with extension, file content. This looks good. Split output looks good. And this looks good as well. So let me save it. 
and let me test it again. Perfect. So here you see that for this particular document, it, it actually has just, it has run only one. So technically it has only one page. So if I go into the split demo and let me drag and drop another file, which actually has two pages, right? So drag and drop it here and I can actually check the CAD demo. So if you look at this flow and look, look at the apply to each, this had two pages, right? So what it did is that it went ahead and actually split the documents. If you go into the split demo, it split the documents into multiple pages with the page number appended to it. So I think that's pretty much it. I hope this quick demo was informative. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.